distance between two points. Now basically the distance between any two points insofar as this plane is concerned is calculated as the following. So let's say there are two points P whose coordinates are x1, y1 and Q whose coordinates are x2, y2. Then the distance between these two points is calculated as square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square or in other words it is the square root of difference of abscissa square plus difference of ordinate square right but let us see how do you actually calculate this so in order to do that let me first draw the x-axis and the y-axis let this point be called the origin this be the x-axis and this be the y-axis so let's say for example we have a point P and we have another point out here Q let the coordinates of this point P be x1, y1 as we have taken here right x1, y1 and Q be equal to x2, y2 right now what does this mean if we say that the P has coordinate of x1 and y1 what does this mean x1 basically represents this basically means in simple language so x1 basically represents the distance of this point from the origin right and if you represent y1 y1 is this distance right similarly for this one what does x2 represents x2 represents this distance and y2 represents this distance right now let us draw a perpendicular okay from this point P on this x-axis okay and let's call it as PL and let's also draw a perpendicular from point Q on the x-axis and let's call this as QN okay or let's say we call it as QM <clears throat> now let's draw another perpendicular from point P towards QM okay and let's denote this point as N right given that this line is perpendicular if you connect P and Q we will see that this piece which I'm just highlighting in this sorry it will not work with this this becomes a right angled triangle because we've said that okay let me just write it down PL okay QM on x-axis on x-axis right then connect PQ and draw PN which is perpendicular to QM now what we'll have is PQN is a right angled triangle right now if this is a right angle triangle then we can simply write PQ square is equal to QN square plus PN square right but if you notice QN is what QN QN is represented by this length now this total length is Y2 and because these two are perpendicular so this line will also be equal to Y1 so QN is equal to QM minus NM plus PN PN now what can PN be written as we know that this point is what that this entire distance is X2 
and this distance is x1 so if you have to calculate this distance can we easily write it as x2 minus x1 whole square right and if you have to remove the square root we just take a square here so qm is what the length of qm is equal to y2 minus nm nm is this which is equal to y1 plus x2 minus x1 and hence the derivation of this formula right so you can simply derive this formula by just putting in these two things we'll take some more problems on this concept in the coming videos